Hello, what is going on YouTube? It's here by Alexandros guys and today I'm back again with another interview for you guys. Today something really really special, Sif Chain guys, JZR from Sif Chain. Uh, I'm really excited to share this one with you. Uh, it's 15-20 minutes interview, it's not too long, uh, so I hope that you guys will stay till the end, but nonetheless it contains a lot of cool information that in my opinion you should know about Sif Chain especially uh, if you want to uh, to get in uh, we uh, we were talking about Peggy about some of their plans for the future and a bunch of other cool stuff uh, the man himself he really has a lot of experience he started reading about crypto in like 2010 then he also did some client work for Cosmos uh, worked among some bridges you know uh, among bridging crypto and some other things in blockchain space so he has a lot of experience in fact uh, really good background in development uh, in blockchain as well um so so honestly this is the right person uh on, on the right position when it when it comes to the uh, to the project right um so so honestly guys i think that this is worth to to watch till the end to to check it out uh i hope that you will enjoy the video of course as always i need to let you know that i'm not a financial advisor you should always do your own research and you should always do your own due diligence because i don't take any responsibility for your actions and with that being said uh, I can invite you to this interview uh, also guys one more thing that I wanted to mention if you could do it uh, for me uh, and for Sif Chain, it would be really really great uh Chain is basically working to get a grant from cardano to work on their new bridge on peggy uh, 2.0 and that will help with operability between cosmos uh, and other evm based chains so please vote for Sif Chain guys to help them make this happen the link will be plugged down below in the description it would be amazing if you can help them out show them some love um and yeah enjoy the interview guys Alrighty guys, so I'm already here with JZR from SifChain, he is the founder and I will be interviewing him today, I'm happy to have you here, <laughs> I hope that you are also excited to uh, to be on this video. Um, so first of all, maybe let's start uh, with telling us, if you could tell us what the Omni chain really is and maybe some of its key features, you can also like briefly introduce yourself, just briefly. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm Jazir, uh, a core contributor for Sif Chain, amongst a really uh, impressive team. Um, yeah, and we're we're a Cosmos uh, decentralized exchange focused on um, being omni-chain. Um, we uh, when we think omni EVM, right, which is sort of our first foray into uh, omni-chain, um, it's basically being able to connect to any EVM chain. Um, so you know, uh, Ethereum. Um, you know, and all its forks. I know the forks are really big to discuss right now, ETC and also uh, ETH POW, once the staking version is the definitive version for Ethereum, as well as projects like, um, you know, Polygon or Avalanche. Um, there are certainly projects that may have their own consensus engines, but um, are also uh, deploying EVM chains like uh, Cardano, which is really popular in our community, um, and many, many others. Basically, we can uh, connect to one of the largest, I would say, ecosystems of EVM uh, chains with, with this Omni EVM tool, uh, meaning people can bridge Cosmos assets. Um, so not just our, our own token, SIF chain, but any asset from the Cosmos network, which is a very, very large network of, um, of chains. Uh, they, can, they can send them all essentially to uh, any EVM chain we connect to and vice versa. They can take EVM tokens and then move them to SIF chain or other chains in the Cosmos network. All right, great. Um, essentially, well, all of us know that there are multiple chains. We have Binance Smart Chain, we have Cardano, we have Tezos, many others, right? Uh, that's that's quite uh, clear. Uh, I wanted to ask you what makes your idea of an Omni chain so unique among all of those other chains. Yeah, it's a good question. I, I think you know, in all honesty, um, the chains you mentioned are primarily just focused on their chain. Um, they are, um, you know, Binance Smart Chain, really powerful. It has maybe a bridge to, uh, to Ethereum, um, maybe a couple other bridges, but they're not really in the bridge game. They're more really designed to, um, to just focus on, on their own chain. Um, same thing with Cardano, right? Same thing with a lot of these projects. We really kind of started, you know, um, thinking, hey, we want tokens to be traversable across all, all chains. Um, I, I think, you know, we... Uh, we, we sort of see ourselves as, as like this, this service provider that can provide so many bridges that 
these individual chains can just focus on what they do best and let us connect um, to them and connect them to each other. All right. Uh, I also wanted to talk about your uh, bridge, Peggy. Uh, so can you tell us a bit more about Peggy to zero? Yeah, so Peggy 2.0 is the next generation of our bridge. We've got Peggy 1.0, which we launched uh, maybe in February 2021, um, which connects SIF chain to Ethereum. Um, it's been going on really well. The first uh, Cosmos Ethereum bridge to launch. Um, you know, everybody's been super um, appreciative of it, and it's it's driven a lot of value to SIF chain um, and I guess to Ethereum users as well. Uh, SIF, Peggy 2.0 is um, a uh, a new version of the concept. It has a couple of uh, interesting things. Number one, we've reduced the gas fees, um, making it cheaper to transfer tokens from one chain to another. Um, you know, it's uh, got um, you know, also the uh, there, there's some sort of back end kind of technical things that are really interesting in terms of how we've connected to uh, Cosmos. But I think the thing people are going to care about the most is the uh, connectivity to multiple chains simultaneously. So the way Peggy 1.0 works, you can only run one relayer to one external chain, and this chain is Ethereum. Um, whereas with Peggy 2.0, uh, we actually allow you to run multiple relayers to different EVM chains, and that's what allows us to be on the EVM. So uh, once we uh, actually go uh, deploy Peggy 2 um, in a couple of months, I think we're targeting late September, maybe sometime in October. Um, once we do that, then we can just go from EVM chain to EVM chain to connect to them until we get dozens and dozens of chains, including layer twos like um, you know Optimism or Metis. Um, and so yeah, that, the real benefit I'd say for users, for end users, is being able to connect uh, to many many EVM chains. Okay, absolutely. Sounds good to me. Uh, all right. Now another question regarding Peggy. Why did you opt to use Peggy? You know, we, we worked on Peggy for a while. I think we, we started in, I want to say 2018, um, maybe 2019. And, and we, uh, you know, it was, it was always really the first. We were pioneers sort of in the, in the bridge space. Um, we, we saw, you know, there wasn't really any solution for a go-to-market. I mean, we, we launched IBC, wasn't even a thing. And so there was no Cosmos network. And a lot of Ethereum users really interested in, um, you know, getting... Uh, some kind of uh, trading activity for way lower fees. Uh, so we said, hey, look, let's let's get something really running here. And um, we we decided to take the technology we built, which again was like you know first in class, um, and and make sure that other people could use it. So that's that's why we decided to use Peggy. All right, fair enough. Uh, where are the things with it right now? And do you guys have any like cool plans when it comes to to the development? Uh, how does the future roadmap look like for it? Uh, well, I wanted to ask for it because I think that certainly people will be interested in this aspect. Um, yeah, you know, I think Peggy uh, 2.0, uh, first we've got to get it shipped. Um, once we get it shipped, then we'll start with a connection to Ethereum. Um, and then um, we, uh, we're, we're going to, you know, connect to individual chains. And I think, um, you know, once we do the first couple, maybe three to five, um, uh, which I, I guess maybe it's something that I, I would shout out is we've, we've thought cons uh, very deeply about uh, which chain to connect to first and which one should be the first few. Uh, you know, we've got this Cardano uh, grant application out. I believe we're also um, you know, doing smaller sort of grant discussions with projects like Tron and, and HBAR. And um, we've had deep conversations again with Metis, with Polygon, with Avalanche, um, among others. And so we really want to get those first few out, which we'll probably do one every two weeks three weeks or so um but after we do that then the next step i would say is connecting to um you know many evm chains in more in parallel uh so hopefully we can get a simple kind of dev um operation going where other engineers can just quickly and easily um you know deploy a new evm chain and i like to see you know one or even multiple evm chains connected per week um until we've we've got you know a, a critical mass um and then i'd say after that um you know, there's there's just questions around performance and scalability and that kind of thing. We'll certainly do optimizations. Um, we're also interested in making uh, any tokens that we um, that we uh, bring on from other EVM chains to be. We want them to be fungible with each other if they truly are fungible. So if you take UST or USDT, sorry USDT, I should say, or USDC or um, you know uh, if ETH or whatever from different chains, um, you should be able to trade them. 
um, you know, as as though they're the same chain and the same token, and kind of combine that liquidity on SIF chain. So, um, you know, we're we're really interested in setting up um, that fungibility, which I think is important right now. If you go to a Dex and it has you know, maybe three or five different versions of ETH, you just end up with um, fractured liquidity, which is not really good for traders because they get worse prices. It's not really good for poolers because they're not able to get advantage, take advantage of like this combined depth. And so we really worked hard on fungibility for these things. I think that's another thing that we, we expect as an add-on for Peggy too, after we've connected to quite a few um, bridges. And, and then I would say, um, you know, uh, after that, I, I think our, our questions are gonna be more like, you know, what does maybe a Peggy 2.5 or a Peggy 3.0 look like where we, we focus more on IBC connections to EVM chains or uh, its own separate standalone chain and things like that. Um, so yeah, I would say that's sort of the, the roadmap that we have for Peggy and Peggy 2. All right, pretty good. And well, I can see that you have some plans already uh, in store. So so that's really, really good. Uh, I like the whole concept, really. Uh, I like the idea. I like the technology. Uh, we already kind of talked about it, but I just wanted to retouch on it. So what is so exciting about Peggy 2.0? How is it different from 1.0? You already said that the gas keys are lower and a bunch of other things. Maybe there is something that you want to add. Maybe you want to generally add something about Peggy, uh, how it functions perhaps. Well, you can you can basically uh, say whatever you want the viewers to know about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I think, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty secure bridge. Um, you know, we, we ended up kind of taking a lot of, of cue from other bridges in the market and decided to do a lot of ed, uh, uh, testing and auditing and so on. We had two uh, premier cryptocurrency audit firms, uh, Certic and Halborn, um, take a deep dive on this code as well as getting in independent audits from um, engineers who, um, you know, are, are actually working on other bridges or other um, uh, ecosystem projects. And so total of four audits, um, which we, we take it you know, very seriously. And we also have continuous audits, right? We on an ongoing basis have our code audited, not just sort of the initial uh, kind of uh, toss out of the code. So we, we take security very seriously, I would say. Uh, we're, we're sort of fee minimized at the moment. Our community's definitely considered adding additional fees to earn revenue, but right now, basically the idea is the fees will be as low as possible. Uh, we'll have things like transaction batching um, to try to reduce um, any, any of the fees in Peggy 2.0. There's just a lot we've done, I'd say, to, to think about security and to think about UX. Um, and, uh, you know, it's connecting to SIFChain, right? SIFChain is like a premier decentralized exchange has like incredible, um, uh, you know, crypto economics, uh, and, and it has a lot of really cool things like, you know, uh, margin trading and, um, you know, it's a really great sort of swap standard swap formula protocol and, and things like that. Um, so, yeah, we expect, you know, when people uh, do bridge, they're probably going to really appreciate it and want to kind of see what SIF chain and then by extension, the rest of the Cosmos universe has to offer. Um, so, so yeah, I, I think, um, you know, that's, that's sort of a rundown on Peggy and then, uh, you know, maybe a bit of a teaser into the other features that SIF chain is working on. Right, perfect. Yeah, and I must admit that you guys are one of the most exciting uh, DEXs right now, uh, in terms of uh, in terms of features and in terms of the things that you are developing. So yeah, thank you, uh, thank you for also uh, talking about that. Um, what are you guys working on now that the people should know about in terms of development, in terms of expansion, maybe marketing? Uh, generally speaking, in in the you know in the general field, right, like. Uh, what are you guys now working on? What can you share with the public that maybe isn't shared yet, you know, uh, on your on your social medias, perhaps? Um, yeah, you know, I think it's, it's. Uh, I mean, one big thing we're thinking of is as we're working on margin, you know, we have some novel pro, um, monetary policies people are actively discussing. Um, and, uh, you know, that that I think is, is like, is, is pretty compelling. People can kind of dig into this in, in more detail. Um, I think that's that's kind of a, a critical, interesting thing. If people want to dig in for more information, I'd say check the Discord. We have a really engaged DAO. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, we're you know we're, we're pretty we're pretty vocal, we're pretty active. We try to stay engaged with the community. Um, yeah, I would say just just talk with us on Discord if you want you know more of an inside scoop. Okay, cool. So that is a way to to also connect to you directly, right? L last but not least, I wanted to to actually ask you. Uh, in terms of the social medias where people can connect to you, Discord, Telegram, uh, all of that. Of course, it will be linked down below, but uh, if you can just invite them, that would also be uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, Discord, um, you know, is, is a great place to chat. 
um, with other sort of shift chain aficionados. If you want more of the uh, general information that we share with others um, who are not in the Discord, uh, you can always go to uh, the Twitter. Um, we're on Telegram as well. Um, you know, we have uh, you know quite a few others. I think uh, those are the two main ones. Um, yeah, Telegram, Twitter, Discord. Uh, we're online, and I believe you know other other really important pro uh, uh, communication venues in uh, other countries. Uh, I think we've got something like many, many different um, uh, language groups. There's there's Indian. Uh, there's our Hindi, I should say. There's um, you know Chinese, Japanese, uh, Korean, German, Spanish. So um, yeah, I mean there's quite a lot of stuff going on. Um, you can Turkish, Russian, Portuguese. Um, yeah, Vietnamese. Um, so, so yeah, there's there's a lot a lot of, uh, of places you can kind of check out. We'll we'll make sure to get uh, the links for those language specific Telegram groups. There's a Commonwealth as well, YouTube. Of course, you want to track GitHub as well. I would say. All right. Yeah, everything will be linked. It's nice that you also have like those uh, specific community language channels. I know that I have in fact a lot of viewers from Germany, so they might uh, join those. Uh, all right, uh, that's basically it when it comes to the questions I prepared. Uh, if you want, you can add something from yourself. Uh, well, I give you I give you a few minutes to do so. I hope that you have something to add, though. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I appreciate coming on. You know, your platform is amazing, and it's just I, I appreciate kind of being able to, um, you know, to, to to spread the good word of Peggy and SifChain here. Um, you know, at the end of the day, like we're here to to serve the users, make sure people appreciate what we're we're up to, and so. Um, whenever we get a chance to kind of shine, I know we're primarily sort of heads down building, but whenever we get a chance to shine what we're up to, um, we, we always like to uh, to take advantage of that. So I appreciate you having us on. Absolutely. I really do appreciate you tuning in as well. I mean, you had to wait for a while. So so yeah, thank you for the patience so much. Guys, go ahead, check out Safe Chain. Uh, check out Peggy as well. Uh, like this video, okay? Show the man some love because he really had to wait a few good weeks to to jump on this interview really thank you so much for for being patient and uh, and for understanding the situation uh and and yeah thank you so much if you want then you can also say bye to the viewers yeah absolutely it was great work being here uh take care everyone yeah thank you see you guys in the next video and just at the very end of this video i wanted to remind you again about the voting guys if you want to help out safe chain uh the link to the voting will be down below in the description okay you can help them uh get uh the grant from cardano that would be lovely guys um and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching if you watch till the end you can comment safe chain uh in the comment section so i know that you watched till the end and that's it from me for today thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next videos and interviews coming out soon